Hi guys, welcome to Sports Talk with Mo. It's your girl Mobala. I'm excited to be here. We got a lot to talk about in sports, but I want you guys to sit back, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back guys. So first we're going to be talking about tennis. Of course, Maria Sharapova was banned from tennis competition for 15 months because she was found tested positive for an illegal drug that was banned. So she's not going to be allowed to play. She wasn't allowed to play in any tennis competition. So my question is, should she be allowed back into the main draws for Grand Slams or should she go through qualifying matches? Because as you all know, the French Open is around the corner and I'm really excited. I'm really a big fan of tennis, so I'm really, really excited for that. But the question, like I said, going back to the question, should she be allowed back in the main draws or should she play through the qualifying matches, then, you know, be accepted into the main draw? In my opinion, I think that she needs to go through the qualifying matches. You shouldn't be allowing her back into the main draw, you know, after being tested positive for an illegal drug and then being banned for 15 months. What message are you really trying to send to the fans and the young girls that look up to her, you know? Are you trying to say that it's okay to cheat and when you come back, you're just going to start competing again? You're not going to work your way through, you know, like work hard to own up to your responsibility and, you know, play. So I really think that she needs to, you know, go through the qualifying matches, work her way up, and then if she does qualify for the main draw, go ahead, you know. So make sure you guys uh, watch the French Open. As you know, Serena is pregnant. She's not going to be playing. I'm really, really sad, you know, because she's like my favorite athlete and she's won like 23 Grand Slams and I just think she's the greatest. So she's not going to be playing. She's going to be out of um, tennis competition for the whole year. Her publicist um, confirmed that. So I was thinking like, wow, you know, now that she's out, who is going to win? You know, Azarenka is not playing. Sharapova is trying to come back. You have all these other players, too, trying to come back. And I'm like, whoa, who's going to win? This is like anybody's game, you know? So I'm really, really excited. Like, who is it going to be? Is it going to be Halep? Or is it going to be Sharapova that's coming back? You know, so we'll see. So make sure you guys stay tuned. We're going to be coming back on the other side of the break. I'm going to be talking about Colin Kaepernick. Why doesn't he have a job yet? Why hasn't he been signed to an NFL team yet? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sports Talk with Mo. As I said earlier, we're going to be talking about Colin Kaepernick. This guy hasn't been signed to an NFL team yet. Why? The question is why? As you all know, last year he gained a lot of attention, media attention, for, you know, kneeling down before games, um, protesting, not standing up for the national anthem, which people took the wrong way. Like, he was booed at every game. You know, people were felt disrespected. But I also understand the reason why he did it. Of course, non-white races have been facing oppression, you know, with police brutality, all of that. So that was his way of standing up against oppression. So now we're here today. 2017, he still hasn't been signed to a team yet. 49ers, San Francisco 49ers released him. No team. Obviously, I'm frustrated because it just seems like, you know, is this, is it because he stood up for something that he believed in and stood up for something that wasn't right? That's why he hasn't been signed to a team. He's being blackballed. You know, because I know that he's a great quarterback. He's not like a franchise quarterback, you know, but he's still a good quarterback that is better than a lot of a starting quarterback in the NFL right now, to be honest with you. So why hasn't he been signed yet? You know, that's the question. Personally, I think that's the reason. He's being blackballed, you know, because of what he did. So teams are like, no, we don't want you, you know, you're being a distraction to our, we don't want you to be a distraction to our team. So just, eh, we're not going to sign you. I don't really think it's because of his production what he produces on the field. I think he's a great quarterback. This is somebody that has taken the 49ers to three NFC championships and the Super Bowl in 2012. They almost won that game, but lost to Baltimore Ravens. So you guys just, you know, what do you guys think? You know, drop your comments. Do you think he's being blackballed because of, you know, protesting against the national anthem? Or do you think it's because of his production? It has fallen. He's not that good anymore. So let me know. Um, moving along, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna be talking about Tom Brady. Oh, go. 
Um, he was on the cover of Madden 2018, the gold edition. And <laughs> this was really funny to me because everybody is like, oh, Tom Brady is on the cover of Madden 2018. That means when the season starts, he's going to be injured because last year, Rob Gankowski was on the cover and he got injured and that's been the history. But Tom Brady was like, eh, no, I'm the greatest. He came on, uh, he posted on Facebook that he's the greatest. He's not, he's going to be immune to it. He's not going to be injured. Matter of fact, he's thinking of playing to his 45. So what do you guys think? Drop your comments. Do you think that by the start of next season, the curse is going to happen to him too? He's going to be injured or is he going to actually take the New England Patriots to the Super Bowl. So let me know, guys. All right, so we're going to take a short break. Sit back. I got a lot more coming. We're going to be talking about NBA. Woo, I can't wait. So you guys stay tuned. Welcome back, guys, to Sports Talk with Mo. So we're going to be talking about the NBA. Golden State Warriors, of course, they are in the NBA Finals. They swept the San Antonio Spurs on Tuesday, 4-0. And on the other side, in the Eastern Conference, King James are up 3-1 against the Boston Celtics. Now, um, before I talk about Golden State, I'm going to talk about um, the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers series versus the Boston Celtics because I actually watched that game last night, Game 4. And for, a, for, the, for the first half, I was actually shocked because I was like, whoa. You know, LeBron, he didn't really play well in game three, so game four, he's coming out just slamming. And what for what happened in, first, in the first half, he already had four fouls in the first quarter and actually sat down the last six minutes. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> Cleveland are in trouble. There's no way they're going to win this game. Boston Celtics, they were moving the ball well. Definitely, they're going to win this game. And we're going to have a tight series. But Kyrie Irving, that's right, Kyrie Irving came put his team on his back and just went crazy had 42 points and of course the Cleveland Cavaliers won that game LeBron James I mean he did play very very well in the second half he had 34 points but I mean they just went they just knocked them out in the second half and I was like dang like <laughs> I was expecting a more you know I was actually thinking something was gonna win and it would be tied and then I was like okay how is this going to be now? The series has kind of changed, but nope, it's up 3-1. Everybody, of course, including myself, want to see Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Of course, the Golden State Warriors, they're like, uh, no, we feel like we should have won last year, which I think they should have won if only Draymond Green did not get suspended. Of course, because, I mean, come on, they were up 3-1. If he didn't get suspended, they definitely would have won 4-1, but of course, he got suspended. So. I mean, let me know. You guys tell me. Drop your comments. Do you think Boston Celtics are going to win Game 5 back in uh, Boston? Or do you think it's over for them and we're going to be seeing Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers on June 1st? That's the beginning, uh, the, uh, the beginning of the NBA Finals. I'm excited, man. I can't wait. I mean, this NBA, I'll admit the playoffs have really, really been boring. To be honest with you, it really hasn't been really competitive. Like, it's kind of been one-sided. Like, Golden State, they're just running through teams. And then, Cleveland Cavaliers on the other side, they were just running through things. I mean, the first two games against the Boston Celtics, that was just a complete disaster. They were just, they, I think in the uh, game two, they knocked them out like, uh, they, were, uh, they beat them like 44 points. I was like, mm-mm, this is, <laughs> this is. So everybody is waiting for that NBA Finals. Cleveland Cavaliers versus Golden State Warriors, no injuries, uh, both teams have all-stars, so there's no excuse. I don't even want to hear any excuse. Like, if LeBron doesn't win it, there is no excuse. If Golden State doesn't win it, you guys have no excuse. So I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And of course, enough of the players. We're going to be talking about the uh, the awards that's going to be happening June 26 on TNT. Make sure you guys watch that. Now, my question is, who do you guys think is going to win MVP? Of course, there was a lot of chatter that LeBron wasn't in the top three. He should have been in the top three. But who do you guys think is going to be? Because it's between Russell Westbrook, James Harden, uh, uh, and Kawhi Leonard. I personally think it should be Russell Westbrook. I mean, this guy has been truly amazing. Ever since Kevin Durant went to Golden State Warriors, it was just him. And it was pretty much just him and the team. And he took that team, he put it on his back, 
and took them to the playoffs. James Harden, yes, I understand. Everybody's like, yeah, he played really good, you know, in Mike D'Antoni's system, was a great, he's a, a, a good point guard, had crazy numbers. But guess what? Game six of the se uh, second round of the playoffs against San Antonio Sports, he choked. I'm sorry, he choked. He was nowhere to be found. He choked. So I think Russell Westbrook deserves the MVP. He deserves it. He's, he's a great player, you know, after Kevin Durant left. There was a lot of pressure on him to win games, and he did. Yeah, he had the triple doubles, but, you know, he still won. So let me guys know, what do you guys think? Who do you guys pick? Leonard, Rossi Westbrook, or James Harden, all right? So that's all we have for today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share, tell your friends. Spread the word, you know? It's your girl, Mobala. All right, see you at the next video. Bye.